Hello and welcome to Red V's Instant Fan Reaction, supported by A Star Recruitment for the 2019 season. Uh, it's our first one of the year and it's the first monologue of the year. Um, I'll try and keep it short and sweet because Dave didn't make it to the game today, so you just stuck with me. Um, Saints have defeated Hull FC 28 points to 18 in the Johnny Lomax testimonial game in front of just over 4,500 fans. Um, it's a good turnout considering the day is uh, a bit cold, grey, damp. Uh, it's great to see the support that Johnny's got for the start of his testimonial year. And it isn't half making me feel a bit old that he made his debut against Wakefield in 2009. It doesn't feel like a couple of years since he uh, made his bow. Um, going on to the game, I mean, it's it, when you get a pre-season game, it's not really about the result. Uh, it's about getting minutes uh, into the players and a little bit about the performance, just just getting a couple of um, couple of partnerships working. Um, Hull were kind of let back into it at the end. There was a raft of changes made where we had a lot of young lads on the field, and Hull made some changes as well. Um, but the, I think the scoreline ended up flattering Hull a little bit more. They didn't really show much in the first half, which will be a little bit worrying to them, considering there's only two weeks till the season starts. Um, it was good to see our new players getting a bow. Lachlan Coote looked really good. Um, got into the, the attacking line really well. Looked safe under the high ball. Um, his left foot kicking game that has been mentioned in every single article uh, about him since he's moved over was in evidence that he, he did use it. He had a couple of shots at goal, um, which he, he got one. I think it was one from three. The other two were from the touchline. Um, so I'm not going to read too much into that. Um, with Richardson not starting and Farge starting at seven, uh, I'm not going to start worrying about about um, touchline kicks being missed in a friendly game. Um, maybe a different uh, different Red V TV when we get to the uh, the Wigan game if we've missed a couple and lost the game. Obviously, uh, Kevin Nagama went very well as well. Looks like he's got a promising partnership with Tommy Makinson down the right, and then you've got Joseph Paolo and Joe Batchelor who were also uh, on the pitch and looked like they wanted to get their hands on the ball. Paolo looked like a good pivot, looks like he's just going to slot in um, in the same kind of role that John Wilkin did. Uh, and Joe Batchelor, he didn't have loads of time to, to kind of put his mark on the game, but he put his hand up for the ball, took a couple of runs in and the right-hand side was 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 good when he came on. Uh, but as I say, the raft of changes did, did kind of let Hull back into the game. Um, Performance-wise, as I say, we kept Hull at arm's length, to be honest, uh, a lot for that first half. I, I, they didn't really show much. Um, so I'm, Hull aren't a team that, that, that you're going to necessarily be worried about. Um, I think they, they need something. They need, they need an injection of something. Um, kind of to get them going forward, and what they also what they don't need is Jake Connor getting simbined, um, which he did in between a try being given and a conversion attempt uh, for a bit of back chat to the referee. I don't think he agreed with the referee's decision when Tyre went over. Uh, looked all right to us up in the west stand, but it, it's one of them that with with Jake Connor, he's such a good player. If he can just control that side of his his game, he will be a great player, um, as we saw in the England internationals. Um, yeah, as I say, it's, it's, the performance the performance was good, um, and it was great to see Alex Wormsley um, start the game, and he, he got some good minutes in, and he he, he looked good. He, he a couple of offloads, but a couple of good straight runs at the line as well, which he needs. Um, I'd have almost liked to have seen us have another game probably last week uh, that Alex could have could have had another 40 minutes um, to, to kind of get up to speed because while everybody starts a season at the, at the same same kind of peg, you're thinking that Wigan's forwards are going to come in and, and possibly target him uh, as someone who hasn't played for a year and might be just, just missing that little bit of match sharpness. He looked fit enough. Uh, and he, he looked good, he looked like he, he wasn't feeling any effects uh, from his injury last year or anything even mentally where he, he was worried about going into collision. He, he properly went for it. Um, now, the surprise in the start, uh, starting 13, was that Theo Farge started at scrum half instead of Danny Richardson. 
Um, it, it went it went all right. It went as, as well as you can you can hope. I mean, we, we ended up in a twenty eight points to six six lead. Uh, Richardson came on in the second half for Farge, and then Farge came back on a bit later. It's hard to keep up with all the substitutions, um, but. All in all, it's it's one of those. It's a, it's a tough decision for Justin Holbrook and his coaching team to make. As who is going to start seven? Danny Richardson's running game was was still evident. Uh, he nearly scored on that on a last play run. Um, the only disappointment was he, he went back to a lot of the bombs um, that he was putting up at the end of last season. Uh, whereas Theo was was trying to mix his kicking game up. Um, I suppose the only thing that that people will worry about is the goal kicking, uh, but we we missed four touchline kicks, and hopefully that can be rectified just on the training field. Um, I'm going to leave it there because you don't need to hear my head doc tones uh, for any longer than that. Me and Dave will be back with uh, a preview show, uh, hopefully next week if we can get some time to together. Um, and if not, we'll see you before the Wigan game for sure. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and check out the website as we have uh, opposition fans currently giving us um, the preview for their team for the year um, and just kind of getting a bit of a different aspect on things. Um, and those are going up. They've been going up for the past couple of days. We've had Castleford, Wakefield, Salford and Hull are up. Uh, Hull KR will be up tonight as well. Um, yes, yeah, so... so Get onto the site as well, onto the Twitter at redv.net and search us on Facebook at redv.net as well. Um, thank you for your time. I think that's me for now. See you soon.